This is the OTB Television Network, a service of Capital District Off-Track Betting. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's edition of Horses and Courses. 17 races to bring you, including three grade one races from Santa Anita. But we're going to kick off our action down at Tampa Bay Downs, the Challenger Stakes. Last year's winner of the Tampa Bay Derby, Perspective, the even money favorite. And they're off. Shellback is reaching up for the early lead with thank you, Philippe, and up on the outside, there goes Longshot, the original Scotty. Meowser moves right up with him in the last horse away, the late running Argentine Tango. They make their charge to the clubhouse turn, and the original Scotty now moves up and has the lead by a length and a half. Meowser and Ronnie Allen Jr. has him in a good spot, second, a length and a half, clear of Shellback, third, prospective, last year's Tampa Bay Derby winner. On the outside, four, three parts of a length. Thank you, Philippe, is there toward the rail now. Fifth, flatter this. Moves up on the outside, six. Nicholas Way, he shuffled to seventh. And Argentine Tango is eighth and last. Seven lengths from front to back as they turn up the back stretch. The original Scotty has the lead. From between horses, Meowser. And now moving up on the outside, there goes Prospective, a length and a half farther back to show back toward the rail. Flatter this on the outside, now racing along fifth. Thank you, Philippe. Is there from between horses now six, three furlongs to run, and the heavy favorite Prospective is now going to the lead. Flatter this, moving up on the outside, second. Meowser has had enough and retreats to be third. Nicholas Way is now set down for the drive fourth with a quarter of a mile to run. Flatter this on the outside. Prospective is under an all-out drive. Three lengths further back to Nicholas Way as they turn into the stretch. Flatter this on the outside. Prospective battling back gamely. Nicholas Way continues to gain ground from third with a foot on the run. Flatter this strikes to the front. Prospective has been defeated. Nicholas Way is third, but it's flatter. This from the Kathleen O'Connell barn goes on to score at 14 to 1. It's close for second between Nicholas Way and Argentine Tango. For second, the running time, 144 and 90, 100 seconds. But flatter this, ladies and gentlemen, who, by the way, was 4-1 to one on the morning line, goes off just under 15-1, to one, returning $31.60, returns by a comfortable, wins by a comfortable two-plus lengths under Antonio Gallardo for Kathleen O'Connell. Dead heat for second between Nicholas Way and Argentine Tango. Boy, for flatter this, ladies and gentlemen, surprised to see the 4-1 to morning line. Only two previous stakes victories on the resume. One in off the turfer and one in the slop. Moving over to Gulfstream Park on Saturday afternoon. Up first, three-year-old fillies on the turf. And the here comes the bride stakes at 8-5 to to the Pessy. And they're all in line. They're racing and here comes the bride. I.O. Ireland is going to the front. Tokyo Time on the inside tucks in right behind I.O. Ireland and then Kittens Point to the outside, followed by Coffee Click in fourth. On the far outside, Tutte Paese is pulling hard and moving up closer. Then it's Caroline Thomas along the rail. I.O. Ireland's going to take him into that first turn at a deliberate pace on top by about a length. On the outside, it's Kittens Point, Tokyo Time, rides the rail, Tutti AC three wide, and in fourth, after a quarter that went in 25 and two. Then it's Caroline Thomas, and Coffee Click is last of them all, just four lengths off the lead, and I.O. Ireland running with her head low to the ground here as the field moves on to the backstretch. Very low to the ground is I.O. Ireland's head. She's in front by a length. Kittens point to the outside is in second. Tokyo time third near the inside. Tutti Paese follows in fourth. Coffee click goes up fifth far outside and Caroline Thomas along the rail. 
Iowa Ireland went 51 flat for a half mile. It couldn't be going along at any an easier clip. And now the pace will click quicken. Cadence Point moves up alongside Tutti Paesi next. Coffee Click, Tokyo Time, Caroline Thomas on the inside. Anyone with a shot as they come toward the top of the stretch. I.O. Ireland. Kitten's Point is right alongside. Tutte Paesi comes three wide. Coffee Click four wide. Behind the leaders, Caroline Thomas in Tokyo Time trying to find a spot. Here's Caroline Thomas in Tokyo Time inside of Kitten's Point. Oh, they had trouble there. Steadying out of there was Io Ireland. Now it's Kitten's Point on the inside. Tokyo Time, Tutte Paesi down to the line. Kitten's Point and Tokyo Time. Then Tutte Paesi and Coffee Click. Kitten's Point with Edgar Prado. Edgar Prado, ladies and gentlemen, having a terrific Gulfstream Park meet. They win by a neck, returning $15.60 for a grand motion turf score. Augustin Stable finishes second. Tokyo Time, who was the second choice in the wagering at 9-5 to five off of a maiden special weight victory, ran very well this half to Hungry Island. But Kitten's Point, ladies and gentlemen, a very very nice winner of the Here Comes the Bride. Up next, three-year-olds going seven furlongs in the prestigious Swell Stakes, even money, 40 tails. They're racing in the Swale. Sing another song broke very well. Gombe Dancer with speed. Res Judicata undrafted on the inside in Talera Castle. Clearly now is right behind them and 40 tails takes a spot about four and a half lengths off the lead. Another three lengths more back to Dighton and then comes Little Distorted Triple Cross to the outside and Nevada at the back of the field as they move up the back stretch. Where the leader is Sing Another Song, who ran a quarter and 23 seconds flat, an easy early tempo here. Talera Castle is second on the outside. Res Judicata goes up in third, undrafted fourth along the inside. Gombe Dancer got shuffled back there and lost a couple of positions. Passed by Clearly Now in 40 tails, who's within four and a half lengths of the lead. Two and a half lengths more back to Little Distorted. Nevada next on the outside as the field makes their way toward the top of the stretch. Sing another song on the rail. Talera Castle right alongside. Res Judicata to the outside of them. Undrafted's behind a wall of horses. Clearly now is running up on the outside now. They're into the stretch, and here's Clearly now. Clearly now. In the center of the track has taken the lead. It's Clearly now from Talera Castle. Sing another song. Undrafted in 40 tails. Clearly now in the swale. Very close for a second. Sing another song or undrafted and then Tilera Castle. Clearly now, ladies and gentlemen, who might have had a very, very attractive race set up. Scores by just under two lengths for Luis Saez, returning $16 for the good guys. Coming off of the Holy Bull Stakes, a two-turn effort. Shortens back up for the 30th running of the Swale Stakes. Scores the victory. Sing another song. 50 to 1, ladies and gentlemen. Second longest shot on the board finishes second. An undrafted, owned by Wes Welker, finishes third. Favorite, 40 tails at even money, finishes fifth in the swell. Sunday afternoon, time for three-year-olds on the turf. The 29th running of the Palm Beach. Charming Kitten, the 8-5 to five favorite. They're racing in the Palm Beach. Ryan DeLuca is going out to the front along with Dad's Laugh on the inside. These two out the best and Dewey Square is right behind them. Reporting Star goes up on the outside of the leaders. Then Charming Kitten to the outside. Saturday Special at the rail and Holiday Star. We come back another two to Squall King and then comes Amen Kitten to the inside. Followed on the outside by Summit County and Kenzie Monarch is the trailer ten lengths off the lead. It's Dad's Laugh up top. 24 and 4 was the opening quarter. Rye DeLuca is running in second, a length and a half off the lead. Then it's Reporting Star in third. Dewey Square fourth on the inside. Charming Kitten is in fifth. Five lengths off the lead. And then Saturday Special and Holiday Star. Break of two. Summit County goes up on the outside of Squall King. Then it's Amen Kitten. And Kanzia Monarch is last after a 49 and two half mile. Up the back stretch they go. Where Paco Lopez and Dad's Laugh continue to set the pace. Ride to Lucas second. Squall King sent through an opening on the inside. And now 
now they start to bunch up up front. Dewey Square's getting shuffled back. Passed by reporting star and charming kitten. Dewey Square had to steady gets back into it now. Three lengths off the lead. And then it's Summit County to the outside. Funneled by Holiday Star and a gap of another three lengths to Kenzia Monarch. Saturday special and Amen Kitten and it's Rye DeLuke in front. Three quarters, one thirteen and three. They're into the stretch. Rye DeLuke the leader. Charming Kitten to the outside. Dad's laugh and reporting star. Dewey Square fifth. Then Kenzia Monarch but it's Rye DeLuke and he's running away. Rye DeLuke and Edgar Prado pouring it on in the Palm Beach. It's going to be Charming Kitten second and then reporting star and Kenzia Monarch. But Edgar Prado scores another victory over this winter. Goes out for a Gary Contest. This, this is Ryder Luke. Scores the victory by a comfortable three and a half lengths as the second choice in the wagering. The offspring of Medallia Dior returns $6.20. Now three for three. On the turf, after debuting on the dirt, scored successfully in the turf debut and then won an allowance race and now wins first time in stakes company. Charming Kitten, the favorite, finishes second with reporting star third in this year's Palm Beach. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, action from Laurel, Turfway Park, and the fairgrounds. With more than 70 convenient locations, internet wagering at CapitalOTV.com, and live operators ready to take your call, CapitalOTV.com is the better choice for wagering on thoroughbred and harness racing. Stop by one of our locations to bet in person or open a Capital Bets account and place your bets over the phone or at CapitalOTV.com. Whether you're on the road or in the comfort of your own home, Capital OTV is the better choice. Listen to what people are saying about the Clubhouse Racebook. It's really nice. It's really modern, open, bright, and there's definitely a lot more machines where you can make your wagers. And I like the fact that it's open anywhere I look. I can see uh, football if I want to or any of the tracks. And I can also see the people that I've seen for many years. You feel comfortable. The staff is great. It makes you feel comfortable. It's a nice place to spend an afternoon on the weekend. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We turn our attention to Laurel Park, and every year this race holds a special place in my heart for those who remember the 1978 Alabama Stakes. The Seizures Wish, Walk With a Purpose, going for five in a row, two to five. And they're off in the Caesars Wish. A good beginning for Walk With a Purpose. Echo is seen as also there, and seven stars to the outside, a sense of reality. Full right across and sorting out. It's back to Purple Plum to the tail of the field, and Listen Boy on the outside of that one. So it is Ecoasina and Walk With a Purpose head to head for the lead and just clear by two lengths from seven stars and sense of reality. Then Listen Boy has one beat and that is Purple Plum. Big favorite Walk With a Purpose down against the rail, nursed along a neck in front from Ecoasina second. It's two lengths and seven stars is a tracking third and sense of reality. Listen Boy's to the inside and Purple Plum is last of the group as the Phillies move into the fire turn in the Caesars wish stakes. Looks like an even and controlled pace for Walk With a Purpose. A little mild pressure from Mirko Asina still to the outside. Seven stars. Asked for a little bit more in third position. Just two from the front. And it's sense of reality. Listen, boy, is an inside run in Purple Plum. Top of the stretch, long run into the second wire. Walk with a purpose, asks the question to quicken up and does so and opens up. A burst away now by Walk with a purpose at the quarter pole, opening up five lengths on Echo Asina. Inside is Listen Boy, then Seven Stars and Sense of Reality and Purple Plum. They're left in the wake in the final furlong of Walk with a purpose. Walk with a purpose with purposeful strides and Walk with a purpose will do it again under jockey Jeremy Rose to make it five in a row. Oh, she just demolished this field in the Caesar's Wish. And Listen Boy was second for a Sagamore one-two punch. Walk with a purpose, breaking from the inside, the one-turn mile under Jeremy Rose. They win by nearly double digits, returning $2.80. A very, very nice victory for Walk with a Purpose, who now makes it five in a row after debuting at Timonium. Turfway Park up next. Three-year-olds in the John Pataglia Memorial. Bye-bye, Bernie, the two-to-one favorite. 
And they're off. Mellow Fellow ducked out, leaving the gate. Avar broke sharply. So did Storm and Monarco on the inside. Then from between horses, bye-bye Bernie on the outside giant finish. Moving into the first turn, and Mellow Fellow is in front. Has it by a length and a half. Bye-bye Bernie, second ahead. Storm and Monarco, third a length. Giant finishes fourth. Gap now of five, Avar runs fifth, taking the slow road is sixth. Two and a half back to General Election and Silver Tongued. Then it's Let's Run, two more to Admiral Kitten and the trailer for Greater Glory. Quarter went in 23 and three, Mellow Fellow leads at a length. Giant finish up on the outside, second ahead. Between those two, bye bye, Bernie runs third. Gap of two, Storm and Monarco is fourth. Three more back, taking the slow road fifth. General Election moves up from sixth. Let's run on the outside seventh. Then for greater glory, Aver, Silver Tongued, and the trailer is Admiral Kitten. They're moving for the stretch. Giant finishes in front. On the outside, Stormman Monarco gaining from the center of the track. Here comes General Election, also moving up for greater glory, taking the slow road. General Election now gets the lead for greater glory. Giant finish still right there. It's General Election. General Election wins it over Giant finish. Then for greater glory, third photo for fourth. But it is general election taking the blinkers off, returning $28 for Windstar Farm. First time on the synthetics turns out to be a victory under Albin Jimenez. Giant finish, the New York bred, ladies and gentlemen, finishes second. Four greater glory finishes third. Bye bye, Bernie. The favorite at two to one checks in seventh in the John Pataglia Memorial. A couple stakes races from Saturday afternoon down at the fairgrounds, both about seven and a half furlongs on the turf. Up first, the black gold, the eight to five favorite, up with the birds. And they're off in the black gold stakes where Skylander stumbled at the start. Favorite Dunkel, animal style, but there goes Skylander nonetheless for Brian Hernandez Jr. So despite that start, Skylander beats them all to the first turn. And Skylander is very keen here, going some five lengths clear early on from a settled favorite uncle in animal style, with Cairo six in fourth as these three rolls go to the back of the course, being led by Skylander. We come back then to Mugadir, first start to the season for Up With The Birds, who's dropped back to last, but is settled. The quarter 25 and two fifth seconds. So Skylander leads over this soft ground. Skylander at the head of affairs. Animal style just into second. Favorite uncle closer toward the rail. Cairo 6 being rated kindly from 4th, 4 furlongs out. Mugadir, royal blue and white epaulets with the rail. One more to up with the birds. Half mile 49 and 3 fifths seconds. They go to the far side of the course. Skylander continues to dictate terms, but now with less than 3 furlongs to go. Shadowed there by Animal Style, who comes to tackle now. Nearest the inside favorite, Dunkel with Cairo 6, a joint third. Up with the birds, getting into the swing of things on the far outside, then Mugadir. They've turned the corner in the black gold stakes. Animal Style has taken the lead from Skylander. Down toward the final furlong. Animal Style slightly drifts. Back on course, though, is Animal Style. Toward the inside, Skylander trying to stay on. Here comes Up with the birds. Then Cairo 6 and favorite, Dunkel. Final 16th, Animal Style still drifting. Up with the birds closing stoutly. Up with the birds. Up with the birds on the outside. Got it. Up with the birds. To get and beat Animal Style in the shadow of the wire. Then Cairo 6 and favorite, Dunkel. And this offspring of Stormy Atlantic, first time on the turf, up with the bird, scores the favorite victory by a head under Sean Bridgman. A very late, confident ride. Animal St Style finishes second, with Cairo 6 finishing third in the black gold. And now time for three-year-old fillies on the turf course down at the fairgrounds in the Allen Lacombe. Magical Moon, the two-to-one favorite. And the gate for the Allen Black Cat Lacombe Memorial. And they're off. There's Gator Zone with Cloudy and San Diego. 
The French bread to my Valentine going out toward the front. Exotic Mischief also up close. Magical Moon fifth at the turn. Tonight we dance as sixth, then sunset time overheard. Smitten has dropped back to last. To my Valentine spearheads the field. To my Valentine has come. Three and a half lengths clear from Gator Zone, who spies that speed as they go to the back of the course. Tonight we dance third with the rail. Cloudy and San Diego in the black cap next in fourth by a length. Magical Moon is a bit rank, and outside that exotic mischief, we come back to sunset time, smitten, and overheard racing a joint last. The first quarter over the soft ground, 26 and 2 fifths seconds past the half mile. To my Valentine at the head of affairs. In front of Gator Zone by two as they turn again. Cloudy and San Diego is edged into third. Tonight we dance saving ground. Magical Moon is six from the front. Exotic Mischief now gains ground outside her with under three for longs to go. And to my Valentine, the leader, for Gator Zone now coming to tackle. Overheard picking it up on the far outside. Smitten also getting on a roll, but wide Smitten. Sunset time is last. To my Valentine leads them past the quarter pole. To my Valentine leads by two to Gator Zone. Magical Moon down at the rail. Here comes Overheard. Overheard is charging with a furlong to go. To my Valentine leads at the fence. Gator Zone. Gator Zone now surging in front of To My Valentine staying on. Then Overheard and Magical Moon. Gator Zone and Sean Bridgman. Gator Zone. Gator Zone just won all out from To My Valentine. Father back was Overheard and Magical Moon. Gator Zone with Sean Bridgman who wins both Saturday stakes races down at the fairgrounds. They score the head victory. Both of them coming on a soft turf course for Steve Margolis. To My Valentine finishes second. Overheard third. The favorite, Magical Moon, checks in fourth in the Allen Lacombe Memorial. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, Oaklawn Park and Sam Houston. Listen to what people are saying about the Clubhouse race book. I've been coming here for um, well over 30 years to the OTB, and uh, I think this is an outstanding facility. Probably uh, comparable to something you'd see in Vegas. They have the big screens there, and then they have uh, the auxiliary screens for, you know, watching all the tracks. And the primary tracks of the day, they'll switch to the big screens, which is ideal for most of us race guys. We like to see the big races on the big screen. Well done. The Capital OTB Handicapping Challenge Series is back. That's right, the 2013 Capital OTB Handicapping Challenge Series is back, and it's your chance to win thousands in cash and prizes, and a seat at the 2014 National Handicapping Championship in Las Vegas. This month's contest is the Turf Hop on April 6th, so sign up today online at CapitalOTB.com or stop in at the Clubhouse Racebook. And don't forget our Show Viber Series, Capital OTB's Online Handicapping Contest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to make a stop at a very intriguing race, a listed stakes race down at Oaklawn Park with a very, very uh, intriguing three-year-old debut in the gazebo stakes. Title Town 5 makes the three-year-old debut as the even money favorite. And they're off in the gazebo. Get happy, mister, comes out smoothly. King Henny, but it's Title Town 5, quickest of them all. Just behind them, our double play is fourth, about four lengths off the speed, then Van Nesseroy Star, followed by Malibu High, and Stormy Holiday at the back, heading to the half-mile pole. Get Happy Mister under urging, gets a narrow lead. Titletown five, cruising up alongside second. King Henny a length back third. Then it's Van Nesseroy Star. Our double play is in fifth with four to make up. Malibu High is starting to pick it up just a bit, and another five to Stormy Holiday, midway on the far turn. Title Town 5 leads by a head. Get Happy Mister trying to cling to him. A length and a half back to King Henny in third. Our double play is fourth. Malibu High fifth. Five lengths off the lead with a quarter of a mile to go. Title Town 5 is cruising along. Get Happy Mister under pressure second. On the far outside, Malibu High is finishing with interest. King Henny is currently second. A furlong from home. The leader, Title Town 5. On the outside, Malibu High is coming fast. King Henny in between them. King Henny now takes the lead in the gazebo. On the outside, Malibu High is closing. Title Town 5 at the rail. It's King Henny to score by a length and a half. Photo for second, Title Town 5 and Malibu High. But it's King Henny coming out of this Smarty Jones one-mile two-turn race for Ricardo Santana and Steve Asmussen. They score the $23.80 upset victory. 
Title Town 5, who scored his maiden victory most recently, October 28th at Churchill Downs, makes the very anticipated three-year-old debut at Even Money, but can do no better than second. Malibu High finishes third in this year's gazebo. Now going under the lights at Sam Houston for a couple stakes races. Up first, the Texas Heritage Stakes, the 3-5 to five favorite, departing. And runners away in the Texas Heritage. They broke away to a straight-line start. Racing towards the inside, Holiday Mischief there in stride with departing from between horses, they swing through the turn and up to the outside, Seeking Payday goes after the lead now. There's a span of two, back to World Venture, racing third. A length and a half more up to the outside, Mula runs mid-pack by a length. Down along the inside, Whiskey Bravo follows that. Along the outside comes Furious Candy in a span of three to Real Appeal Deal. A five-eighths of a mile to go in the Texas Heritage. And Seeking Payday brings them along by a length and a half. World Venture racing second a length. Holiday Mischief's holding third by two. Departing is fourth, but now called upon and begins to stir. There's three back to Whiskey Bravo. Furious Candy next on the outside. Mula Run Extreme outside at the far turn. They go three-eighths of a mile away. At the inside, Seeking Payday's on the lead. World Ventures nudged along now to gain the lead from the outside. Departing comes to join them on the outside third. Holiday Mischief fourth at the rail. Real Appeal Deal kicks on late from back of the pack. They round the turn and run for home at the Texas Heritage. Holiday Mischief, the inside World Venture is there. And Departing with an explosive run begins to open away from the field now. And Departing clear two, three, and going on. Departing with an explosive finish scores top honors in the Texas Heritage. And off the 7-2 morning line price, that's a good one, boy. Departing under Brian Hernandez and the familiar silks of Claiborne Farms going out for Al Stahl. Departing is now 3-for-3 three three as he wins by just under three lengths, returning $3.20 for winning the Texas Heritage. This offspring of Warfront goes successfully the two turns. Holiday Mischief finishes second and second choice at 9-5 to five in the wagering World Venture. Continuing down at Sam Houston, we're going to go nine furlongs in the Max Am Stakes. Hurricane Ike, the two-to-one favorite. And runners away in the Max Am Gold Cup. Hurricane Ike is off quickly from the outside and goes straight to the front. Unstoppable you just back of that with Dreaming Blue running on at the rail. Saber Cat. Up from the outside in stride with Cajun Don from between horses early as they race to the first turn. There's three back to unlatch, racing third last. Twin Spired runs on at the rail, and Ocean Seven trails early midway round the first turn they go. Hurricane Ike sells along and leads it by two. Unstoppable U tracking second by two. At the inside, Dreaming Blue is right there. Cajun Dawn from between horses. Saber Cat the outside of that. Four off the leader. Two and a half links back to Unlatch. Still two more back to Twin Spired. And Ocean Seven as they head on for the far turn just over a half mile away in the Maxam Gold Cup. And Hurricane Ike continues to lead it by a length. Up to the outside. Unstoppable U is right there. Moving through. Dreaming Blues a closer third. Saber Cat into fourth, the outside, three eighths of a mile away. Twins spired directly back of that. They head it midway around the turn now in the Maxam Gold Cup. At the inside, Hurricane Ike is met by the challenge now. Unstoppable you on the outside. Dreaming Blue swings to the far outside. Twin Spired back of horses. Saber Cat the outside. And they have a final furlong to go now. From the outside, Unstoppable U puts a nose on the lead. Dreaming Blue rushing into second from the outside. Hurricane Ike's back third. Unstoppable U in the Max Am Gold Cup. But Ken McPeak for his wife and Medallionos Racing scores the victory. Unstoppable U 
Chris Landros aboard. They score the $15.80 victory in the Max M Gold Cup handicap. Dreaming Blue finishes second. And Hurricane Ike, the 2-1 to -one favorite, finishes third in the Max Am Gold Cup. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, grade one action from Sansanita, and then the Big A. Hey, race fans, head down to the all-new Clubhouse Racebook and get in the game. With live horse racing on more than 250 flat-screen TVs, state-of-the-art wagering terminals, fantastic food and drinks, an amazing Vegas-style atmosphere with seating for nearly 900 of your closest friends. Conveniently located at 711 Central Avenue, right off exit 5 of I-90 in Albany, the Clubhouse Racebook is the better choice. No matter where in the world you are, the excitement of wagering on live horse racing is just a click away. CapitalOTB.com offers live streaming, free past performances, analysis and selections from professional handicappers and a simple safe and secure wagering platform and best of all it's surcharge free capitalotv.com the better choice welcome back ladies and gentlemen time to go out to san Anita for three grade one stakes races up first three-year-old fillies going two turns in the one mile las Vegas annually one of the most formful races in the country, Beholder, four to five. And away they go. Lady Asano broke well, but then threw her head up in the air and has dropped back to be last. Beholder was very fast. Beholder takes the early lead. Fifty Shades of Hay along the inside is in the second spot. Just in behind that, riding with the devil, speeding through the city, white cap on the far side. They've been followed by Air Kitty and Renee's Titan. Only three and a half of them. They try to slow them down up front. Behind that comes Starlet Strike. And last of all is Lady Asano. They move on to the back stretch, and it's the favorite Beholder setting her own pace. She's keen to go on too. Beholder's taken hold of the bit. She leads them by almost two. Fifty Shades of Hay is in second, riding with a devil tucked in third. Here's speeding through the city. White cap, only three lengths off the leaders. On the far side, Air Kitty. Renee's tightened between them and Scarlet Strike down at the rail. And Lady Asano, being patiently ridden from the back, has eight to make up. Less than a half mile to go and Beholder still in control out here. Beholder now kicks on for home, leads it by two and a half. Fifty Shades of Hay is sent after her, but Beholder's opening up now. And Beholder starts to open up as they come to the quarter pole. Goes clear by three. On the outside, speeding through the city, Fifty Shades of Hay. In behind that comes Air Kitty. They turn for home. Beholder hugs the rail and goes on. Still running strongly on the lead. Has it by three. Fifty Shades of Hay speeding through the city on the outside. Air Kitty are all chasing. Beholder now digs deep, finds more, still leads by four big lengths. And it's a scintillating performance from Beholder today. Just totally outpassed the opposition. Beholder and Garrett Gomez take the last virgin. A second is Fifty Shades of Hay. Then Scarlet Strike and Air Kitty finish fourth. And Richard Mandela sends out Beholder off of the upset in the Santa Inez three-year-old debut, but this time going two turns. This offspring of Henny Hughes just uses her speed to dominate this field. Never an anxious moment for Garrett Gomez. Returns $3.60 for the second victory in the Las Virgenes for trainer Richard Mandela. The 20th anniversary of likable style scoring at $3.80. You know, you take a look at Beholder and all it screams out to me is, let's hope she comes to Saratoga for the test stakes. Staying at the one distance mile, but going over the turf course time for grade one action in the Frank Kilroe mile. The three to two favorite, Suggestive Boy. Wilkinson's, Wilkinson's in, they're all set they're now set for the Frank Kilroe mile. mile. And away they go to a perfect start. Along the inside, Fed Biz came out quickly and goes for the lead. Up alongside, we have Forest Mouse. Down at the rail, Salentio, Suggestive Boy's a lot closer today. And now there goes Vagabond Shoes. Vagabond Shoes kicks on to lead them. We drop back to Wilkinson, who's taken to the back of the leading group. Acadian back, second last, and Mr. Commons trails early. Eight lengths covers the lot. 
They head to the three-quarter pole, and now it's Vagabond Shoes setting a good pace, taking a nice hold. Vagabond Shoes by a length and a half. In the second spot comes Forest Mouse, Fed Biz, Scrapes Paint in third. Suggest a boy keen to go on now is pulling his way up to third. On the far side, Wilkinson is no more than three off the leaders. Salentio is at the back of the leading group, travelling comfortably. Acadian is also comfortable. He's second last, six off them, and Mr Commons just bides his time at the back. A half mile left to go and Vagabond shoes by a length. Forest Mouse is racing along in the second spot. Down at the rail comes Fed Biz. Suggestive boy on the far side, three off the leader. Now Salentio is trying to get out to come after those leaders. Acadian and now yes, Mr. Commons with a nice run. And Mr. Commons on the inside. Is he going to find room? He's full of run. Can he get somewhere to run though? Homeward bounder here, Suggestive boy. Suggestive boy now going up to strike the front. Forest Mouse is running a huge one on the inside. Mr. Commons can't get out. Down the centre of the track we have Wilkinson, but it's Suggestive Boy. Fed Biz coming with a late run. Silentio as well. Suggestive Boy hanging on. Silentio. Suggestive Boy. Oh, they hit it together. Suggestive Boy. Silentio. It's close. Mr. Commons and Fed Biz in a photo for third. And Suggestive Boy, who recently won the Arcadia Mile Mile on the turf course at Santiago, wins by a nose as the favorite for Ron McAnally and Joe Talamo. They return $5. Salentio finishes second with a brilliant, brilliant late run. And first time on the turf, Fed Biz finishes third. Suggestive Boy, who was runner-up in the Shoemaker Mile the United States debut last June, has done very, very well in the Southern California one-mile races. And now time for annually one of the most prestigious races in the country, a mile and a quarter on the dirt, the big cap, game on dude, six to five. Feel for the Santa Anita handicap sent on their way to a perfect break. Game on Dude, smooth into stride today, and Game on Dude racing down the center of the track will take the early lead, now dashes over towards the rail. Handsome Mike is on the inside of him, here's Giltra pulling pretty hard in the pink colors, Clubhouse Riders right there as well. Ron the Greek trying to stay in touch today, is down at the rail, only four and a half off the leaders. Alongside call to serve, then Stefan Otzi. Deacon Speakin was in tight earlier, and Deacon Speakin has dropped back. And at the back we have Richard's kid, who's a good 12 off the leaders. Past the 7 eights they go, and game on dude. Out where he likes to be, nice and relaxed today. Game on dude, and Mike Smith take them along two and a half to handsome Mike. Call to serve is right there in third, clubhouse right on the far side. Ron the Greek, now five off that leader. Guilt Trip is up alongside of him. Stefan Otzi in the green cap is now eight lengths off the leaders. In behind that comes Deacon Speakin. Looks like he settled, slipped forward in that trouble after the start. And last of all comes Richard's Kid. Richard's Kid, a good 14 off the lead. Past the half mile they go now, and it's Game On Dude breezing along on the lead. Game On Dude and Mike Smith clear by three as they go into the turn. Clubhouse Ride comes to take him on early now. Handsome Mike is there. Guilt Trip called to serve, losing ground. Ron the Greek now six off the leader. They are coming to the quarter pole, and Game On Dude has not taken a deep breath yet. It is game on dude, Mike Smith just pointing him in the right direction. Homeward bound in the big cap, game on dude is now turning it into a procession. Big run from Clubhouse right in second, Ron the Greek third, but just absorb this one. This is a moment of history, game on dude, perhaps the easiest winner in history of the big cap. Game on dude and Mike Smith cantering in. Club ride and call to serve in a photo for second. Then Ron the Greek, Guilt Trip. Behind that, Richard's kid. Then Handsome Mike. Back to Deacon Speakin and Stefan Otzi. Game on boot, dude gets to the front at Santanita. He is impossible to beat from that. He is now seven for eight lifetime at Santanita. The only defeat, the bad start in the Breeders' Cup Classic. He, game on dude, folks, has earned just about... 1.5 million at Santa Anita alone. Three for three with Mike Smith in the saddle. Wins by nearly eight lengths in the big cap, ladies and gentlemen. Clubhouse ride, 27 to one, finishes second. Called to serve, finishes third in this year's big cap. 
Saturday afternoon, multiple stakes races at the Big A. Up first, Phillies and Mares in the top flight. Summer applause, 6 to 5. And they're off. Number five, Natalie Victoria just walked out of the gate and it was a slow start for number seven with great pleasure. Sisterly Love from the outside post is out for the lead. A sunny desert summer applause and Natalie Victoria now moving up on the outside. Then it's twice the lady. Lady Grace Note is alongside and with great pleasure trails the field in seventh. Natalie Victoria goes on with it to take the lead from Sisterly Love. The opening quarter was run in 23 and two-fifth seconds. Natalie Victoria, the long shot in front by almost three lengths. Sisterly Love runs in second by two. Then Summer Applause in third with great pleasure. Making a move on the outside with great pleasure. Now takes third. Summer Applause is back running in fourth. Twice the lady in fifth. Sunny Desert is back in sixth, and Lady Grace Note is the trailer. Half mile in 47 seconds. There goes Sisterly Love, now moving up in between horses to take the lead from Natalie Victoria with great pleasures on the outside. So now it's Sisterly Love, the leader, going around the far turn. And with great pleasure runs in second. Summer Applause is on the move. Summer Applause up to third. A break of two and a half lengths to twice the lady in fourth. Sunny Desert in fifth. And a lot to do as the field hits the head of the stretch. And here's Summer Applause to take over. Three quarters in one, 11 and four. Summer Applause is in front. Twice the lady on the outside. Sisterly Loves down at the rail. Then Lady Grace Note and Sunny Desert. It's Summer Applause with a three length lead. Then twice the lady on the outside, Sunny Desert. They're coming for the wire, and it will be Summer Applause and John Velasquez to take the top flight. Twice the lady was second, then Sunny Desert and Lady Grace Note. John Velasquez shipping up for the stakes action aboard for the easy two and three quarter length victory for Summer Applause. They return $4.60 for Chad Brown. Only the second start since the Kentucky Oaks for this four year old. Now we go to older sprinters, the largest field ever for the Tom Fool, 10 in the starting gate. Off the one week layoff in the San Carlos out of Santa Anita, comma to the top, two to one. And they're off. St. Liam's halo, head hard hoof, smash on the far outside, comma to the top, moves up. At the rail and coming to the top, takes the lead. Head hard hoof in second, smashes third. St. Liam's Halo in fourth. Johannesburg Smile in fifth. In between horses, Consortium sixth. Off the jack, far outside in seventh. Then it's Hart Butte in eighth. B. Bullish is ninth. And Saturday's Charm trails the field in tenth. The opening quarter mile in 22 and four fifth seconds. And it's Kama to the top, leading three quarters of a length over head hard hoof. Smash runs in third. St. Liam's Halo at the rail in fourth. Consortium is fifth. Off the jack is dropping back, passed by Saturday's Charm. Then it's Joe Hannesburg Smile alongside Hart Butte, B. Bullish at the back of the pack. They're at the top of the stretch after a half in 46 and one. It's Kama to the top and Ed Hard Hoof. And on the outside, it's Saturday's Charm gaining ground. Consortium looks to move through down at the rail. Here's Saturday's Charm now to take the lead. Head Hard Hoof continues to battle on. Comma to the top, then Consortium. They come for the wire, and it's going to be tight. And it's a photo finish between Saturday's Charm and Comma to the top. They were right together in a thrilling edition of the Tom Fool Handicap. Six furlongs, one minute, ten and one-fifth seconds. And in the 28th start, first time with Joel Rosario, seven-day layoff. Boy, this might not be the race of the year when 2013 wraps up for the Naira circuit, but boy, it might be the effort of the year. How could you have liked Kama to the top inside the eighth pole, but Joel Rosario gets the job done with this offspring of Buwana. Charlie goes out for Peter Miller. They score the very impressive Gut checking, $6.30 victory. Saturday's Charm finishes second, and Head Hard Hoof third in the 38th running of the Tom Fool. Now, time for three year olds on the inner dirt track in the Gotham Stakes. Overanalyze, eight to five. And they're off. 
Overanalyzed, broke well from that outside post position. Escape from reality is up close. West Hills Giant now gains, and West Hills Giant will be the early leader. Escape from reality towards the rail. Overanalyzed on the outside in third, transparent in tight there, along with Siete de Oros. Then it's El Nawe racing in sixth, and Sky Captain is seventh. Champion Boy down at the rail in eighth. Orpass is ninth. Vijak has one horse beaten. That's Amerigo Vespucci. The 11 three-year-olds hit the backstretch after an opening quarter mile in 24 seconds. West Hills Giant leads here three quarters of a length over Transparent, over Analyze, and Escape from Reality. They're right together third and fourth. Then it's the trio of Siete de Oros, El Nawe, and the gray champion boy. Vijak has now moved up into eighth. Amerigo Vespucci down at the rail in ninth. Sky Captain is tenth. And Orr passes the trailer. The half went in 48 and three-fifth seconds. They head for the far turn. West Hills Giant by a head over Transparent. Now it's almost four lengths back to escape from reality and overanalyze. On the far outside is El Nawe, then Siete de Oros, and Champion Boy. And they're at the head of the stretch. Three quarters in one, 12 and three. West Hills Giant all out. Transparent on the outside. West Hills Giant down at the rail. Transparent in second. And on the far outside, here comes Vijak. And Vijak has stormed to the lead. Vijak drops away now in deep stretch and he's going to remain unbeaten as he takes the Gotham Stakes by Jack the winner then West Hills Giant El Nawi and Sieta de Oros and with a late nice run by Jack second choice in the wa wagering for Joel Rosario who shipped up for the Saturday action well back in the pack early well in front late wins by two and a quarter lengths returning $6.70 for Rudy Rodriguez and pick six racing. And you have to figure with this victory in the Gotham, an absolutely secured spot in the Kentucky Derby. West Hills Giant finishes second. El Nawi finishes third. The favorite overanalyzed from a ridiculously tough post position finishes fifth as the eight to five favorite. That wraps up this week's edition of Horses and Courses. We invite you to join us next week as we review stakes racing from around the country.